So everything I'm about to show you isn't much of a sneak peek, kind of is, but it's going to be already out by the time this video comes out. You guys can thank Christian for that one. Apparently he didn't want to upload a sneak peek yesterday. It's okay. Uh, comment thanks a lot, Christian, to show your support to him. But you can see we got Critter Cannons, and Boom Beach has been nailing it with the Proto Troops recently. I think uh, Critter Cannons, they're definitely not as OP as Heavy Choppas were. Um, but they're still a really good proto troop, and I think a lot of people will be attacking on the main base, which is exciting for me because that's my favorite part of the game. So we're going to be sneak peeking that a little bit, but first I do want to give a shout out to uh, Shish Kebabber and Op Destroy because they went and designed this tech tree for the warship season. Um, I think Shish Kebabber was the main designer and Op helped out a little bit, but this is awesome because look at we're starting with mechs. This is like a dream of mine, and I'm hyped to get into this season. By the time this video comes out, I'll, I'll probably already have attacked a bunch of times, which will be fun, but um, yeah, I, I'm not very good at like analyzing good tech trees, but I trust them. They're really good with the strategy, and make sure you guys check them out and show them some love. Um, I think that's really cool that people in like the community are helping out and it's not just like the boom beach team doing that so um yeah good luck with the warship season but what we're gonna do so i'm kind of like lucking out here because uh, we got the critter cannons and usually on the dev build before i forget to say something this isn't an actual boom beach account this is a dev build got to go through this every time because people think we're hacking and it's not on the live boom beach server so it's okay and no i can't get you any of these accounts but i'm lucking out a bit because on the dev build uh, mega crab is still here so instead of doing the traditional attacks of bases that aren't put together at all kind of like a layout like this where every building's just clumped together because it's not worth designing the base. Um, we'll actually have some bases to attack Critter Cannons with in the Mega Crab. So let's see how it goes. Probably, it, honestly, it might just be one attack because we know how slow Critter Cannons do, or I should say one stage. I'm not quite sure how they'll do as, um, as a collective here against stage 52 of the Mega Crab, but you just never know. Before, we got to get rid of these cryo bombs because they just slow down them and then we'll get Kavan down as well. I don't believe Kavan revives proto troops or critter cannons so we'll see if, if that's actually true. I always forget there's always just some troops that Kavan cannot revive but critter cannons pretty self-explanatory. If you've never seen them or this is your first time they shoot out critters and it's quite a bit and it's very nice um, the the attacks go a bit slow. See, the, this was like the third original Proto Troop released. It was it's part of the first set of the Lasertrons, Rainmakers, and Critter Cannons. And back in the day, Lasertrons were so bad, and then Rainmakers came out and they were too good, and then Critter Cannons came out and they were like perfect for what you should expect for Proto Troops. So these are one of the OGs. Pay your respects at least do one i i hesitate to say one full map clearing session at least do five full attacks or five attacks full of uh critter cannons you know pay your specs um if you don't attack on the main base just show them some love because we love to see that but um i don't know why i'm not shocking the splash damage they were just instantly taking out the critters and that was slowing us down but we were too we were too caught up in uh, showing or paying our respects to the critter cannons here that um, we kind of let their product being the critters we kind of were letting them die there but now we're out of energy so it could get a bit dicey here um, I really like critters well didn't we have like a, a recent critter prototype I forgot what it's called um, I might be thinking of the critter engineer now that I think about it and that was not good at all but Critter Cannons, on the other hand, they are much better than the Critter Engineer, I'll tell you that. Because they actually throw more than one every 13 seconds. I think that's what it was. One Critter every 13 seconds. And uh, granted, I guess you could hold like 5 or 6 per boat, so it was like... Per boat you would throw 5 every 13 seconds. I know it, it doesn't sound like that's much better, because it's not, but... 
Um, at least with the critter cannons here, you know, you get quite a few out, and we only got a minute 25 five of the attack of a minute. Alright, maybe it's a good thing that, uh, you know, I wasn't, these didn't come out last week with the mega crap, because then I would have committed to only doing critter cannon attacks, and then we would be giving up attacks on lower stages here, because it, uh, you know, it takes so long to get through the attacks. My goodness, this might take three attacks alone, and we're not going to lose a single critter cannon. That would be insane. Alright, well, I guess what should I kind of focus with my energy here? I'm looking for clumped up, uh, I guess it might be beneficial um, for this attack if we try and bark down this cluster here. I'm trying to find overlapping buildings that I might not want to spend a shock bomb on here. Like, I was thinking about the uh, the flamethrowers right there. It might be, uh, we'll save shock bombs for that. All right. We're starting to get some work done here, but we can see machine guns are just going to tear through them. 18 seconds left. I guess what I could have done. I could have been spamming second wind and get, got some riflemen. That would, that would actually help out damage quite a bit, uh, is what I would predict. Because the critters are on the buildings and the riflemen stand just behind. They might get hit by some defenses or targeted but that definitely I think I would have got further in the attack if I spent it there instead of anywhere else but uh, let's hop into this second I I got faith we're gonna be able to do it this stage we'll just place our troops down and um, I guess just kind of save up but this is where the walking begins so it's gonna take us half the attack before our critter cannons even get to a building to target um, but I think I'm gonna go for that Dr. Kavan strat where we do, I think I'll probably just pop two second wins once we get enough critters out and then hopefully a rifleman can survive. I think that's gonna help out quite a bit there. So we got the two down, hopefully the rocket launchers just don't troll me here and actually just target the critters. That would be very nice. I'm gonna have to expend a shock bomb there. Those machine guns were just going too am on the critters there but look at that little bit of rifleman i can't i can't tell how much damage they're really doing it's still taking a while to get through the buildings i wonder i wonder what level rifleman kavan's spamming because i'm not sure what kavan's level is here um for a second wind on the dev but it's, it's not looking like a lot of damage but then again that could just be stage 52 uh health uh, taken effect, but it's okay. All right Now we can start to expend more shock bombs and We should be good here. I think we can get through it because the shield generators are in front of the HQ So our critter cannons will actually target them. It's gonna be nice, but now um, I guess we just have to spend money on shock bombs and I'm not sure how this is gonna go because I am running out of energy. We got one more. I tried to get that rock launcher in there. It failed. I would have rather just taken out the flamethrowers instead. Alright, we're kind of at a standstill here. Alright, we just got enough for another shock bomb. That's going to be huge. But the good news is, our critter cannons are hardly touched. There is one that is, like, it took like one rock launcher bullet. So that's good. But we... We just still can't take out these flamethrowers for some reason. I feel like the critters aren't doing much, and it's all just the riflemen damage, which, as we stated earlier, the riflemen are doing very little damage. But a couple artillery. Now, we might be in the clear, actually. Once we just get past this last line of defenses here before the core, that is... Th we'll be fine after that. Not much splash damage. Well, I guess there is still... There's still a rocket launcher and a mortar, but I think we'll be fine. Minute 22, we're going to be chilling um, once we get through that flamethrower. I got to help out the cause. An artillery, come on, take it out, take it out. All right, down goes that flamethrower. Let's see how quickly we can take out these uh, other buildings now because I feel like my critters were just dying instantly, which they kind of were. I'm just going to throw a flare into the core. This could go bad. This could go... Uh, it might be more beneficial to go for defenses that are picking off critters, but I think if we just get enough on the core, we should be able to take it out. 40, 45 seconds remaining, and I see it going down a little bit, so we are going to be able to take it out in two attacks. 
But that's the critter cannons. You can see why, like, you might not want to use all critter cannons uh, when clearing your map, but you at least got to get five. That is my that is my request to you guys. Pay respects to the critter cannons because they are going to be super helpful in like RZCM, heavy Zooka strats, something like that. I promise you that. So show them some love. But that's going to be it. Thanks for sticking. Have fun with the warship season and enjoy the critter cannons.